Oh, CC peeps. Today we're at the camp and we're in the little tiny shed that we have here on our property. And we've got a Craftsman riding lawnmower that uh, was smoking very, very badly. And I finally diagnosed it. Uh, it needs to be changed all, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take out the spark plug so there's no malfunctions or anything happening while you're in the front of the lawnmower changing the oil. White space, but you can kind of sort of see it a little bit. But you're going to want to lift your lid up, or your hood, and there's your engine, there's your gas tank. This should be in that little panel right there, but uh, it's going to look just like this. And all this basically does, it goes down and makes an L, and that's where you're going to drain your uh, oil out from, is right there. So the tools and supplies that you're going to need is a pipe wrench and 10W30 oil. So once you have your supplies as your oil and your pipe wrench, what you're going to want to do is get your pipe wrench, and right now it's going to be kind of faced up-ish. And um, you're going to want to get your pipe wrench and unloosen that uh, little plug up there. And uh, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now that you're, you got your uh, little plug out, you're going to want to uh, drain your oil out into maybe an old oil can or your uh, drip pan and recycle it or whatever. Okay, so the reason that I knew that I need to uh, do this oil change was because when I opened this right there, I smelled inside of it, and all I smelled was gas. No oil, just plain gas, and that's the reason I knew that I needed to do it. I guess that needle valve stuck. This has been sitting up for years, and uh, just old. Okay, so this is going to get kind of messy here in just a second, but uh, what you could do with this uh, little pipe here, begins facing straight up, um, I didn't have to do that at first, I didn't have to turn it over, but because uh, at first the uh, oil was just pouring out, uh, there was a lot of oil in there, a lot of oil and gas mixture, which this is a gas lawnmower. And it's not a mixture. It shouldn't be that way. That's why I was smoking so much. But uh, you can get this, and then you can just turn it. It's going to get really messy here in just a second. And you just turn it to where you need it. Let, it, uh, let that oil drip in there. And I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so what you're going to want to do when you finish draining your oil is turn your pipe upside right uh, which is facing up, and put your oil plug back on. Okay, so once you got your plug back on, you want to get it snug and tight. Uh, you want to get your your uh, funnel, and you want to get your oil. Uh, this particular lawnmower holds 10W30 oil, and... Also, a note, before you use your funnel, you want to clean it out to where there, you don't have to do another oil change like this with gunk getting in there. All right. And then now what you want to do is put your oil in. I'll try to video that as best as I can. I might have to cut the camera, and I might not. So once you clean out your funnel, you're going to want to Pour your oil in. Here we go. So I'm not going to film this whole thing because, quite frankly, that's boring. Okay, so after pouring the oil, what you want to do is take your funnel out. Wipe your dis dipstick on a paper towel. Stick it in there. And check your oil to make sure you have enough. Put it level. And it's not showing up very good on camera, but it's full and it's clear. Alright, let's see if we're a crank. So now that you've made sure that you have gas 
your battery's charge, which is located under seat. Uh, lift that up, and it's under there. And you're all good to go. What you're going to want to do is put your clutch in and put your choke on. Just locate it right there. First crank in more than a year. Let's try it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll CC you later.